Good morning, guys. It's Ricardo, DFW Junk Guys, and I got Tony here with us today. What's up? What's up? What's up? We are actually in Corpus Christi, Texas. We're on the Gulf of something, right? Yeah, Galveston. Galveston. Well, we're, Gulf of, we're in Corpus Christi is where we're at. Corpus Christi. Yeah. yeah. Is this not Gulf of something? Mexico. Gulf of Mexico, yeah, something like that. Yeah. But you know, we're out here, guys. We're actually talking to one of our accounts here in Corpus Christi. But we wanted kind of to talk to you about uh, how people try to expand their business way too fast. And we've been in the game about eight years. Yep. Uh, we're not trying to expand our business that fast. But I, I keep on hearing people, hey, I want to get this. I want to get another trailer. I want to get another truck and be in another city. And what do you think about something like that when people say that? No, I think it's great. I mean, you know, asking what kind of tools and things that they might need to grow their business. And, you know, as the previous video, so you talk about, you know, what kind of truck you should get, what kind of dump trailer, uh, you know, should I get a mini dumpster yet? What do I add a mini dumpster, 12 yards, and things like that. So I think it's very really important, you know, you start with the enclosed trailer or a dump trailer, right? Right. So many things, kind of a the theme of our videos is, how, you know, what equipment to start up fast and then what you gradually add on to complement your business, right? Kind of the main dumpsters later right. on, but the 12 yard will be next too because that's another piece of equipment that we talk about that can add additional revenue to your business while you're doing a job. You have a dumpster being loaded by the customer, right? Exactly, exactly. So. Uh, and you know, uh, Tony, I get a lot of questions that are also like, uh, what kind of truck should I start off with? What kind of trailer should I start off with? Should I start off big? Should I start off getting dumpsters? My, my theory is that why would you start off? With dumpsters, an investment of twenty-five to thirty thousand dollars, when you don't have the business for it yet. Right, right. So that's when you have to evaluate your funds and ev evaluate. I mean, we, I think we should just talk about be previous before. Start with the enclosed trailer, right? Especially if you're doing it part time, you're getting into it, so you don't. You just need to have something to start with, so you can start bringing some revenue. And once you start bringing that revenue in, I think you can graduate to a dump truck or enclosed trailer. You know, enclosed trailer. One, one or two first. Whatever you want to get first, and right. then start adding the other things like the twelve yard dumpsters. The mini dumpsters and things like that. You right. gotta start somewhere, and if you're not starting full time, it's okay to start part time right. with enough minimum assets to uh, start, you know, getting you, your name brand out there, but also bringing in some money. Right, right. And, and what do you think about uh, what number do you think you need to be at at a monthly basis to start expanding your business? Because people make about, you know, five hundred dollars a week or a thousand dollars a week in junk removal. What's your number on a weekly basis to a monthly basis where you're starting? You know what? I got to expand my business now. What do you think that number's at? Well, I, I think it depends on the individual first, right? Some right. people just want to maintain a certain level, and some people want to expand. So I think it's kind of to look at your individual budget. You know, because everybody's number is going to be different. Right. You know, I might say five grand, ten grand a month. Somebody else might say six. So I think it kind of depends on what you're at and what and how fast you want to grow. Because everybody's different. Everybody's journey is a, it has a different path. So I think it's you know in between what do you feel comfortable? With? That's you know I'll probably say about six grand. Right. You know, uh, a week or a month. A month. Uh huh. You know. Uh, and you have to look at your other budget and you know your expenses. So you have to kind of look at where you're at from a cash flow. Because the cash flow is going to be real important. What you can do and what you cannot do with the other bills that are coming in. So you have to kind of look at your whole P and L uh, from your income and your expenses. Go from there. So it's really hard to really, you know, I'll say a rough estimate between six to ten thousand a month. Right. Right. Yeah. And I, I, I think at the ten thousand dollar range a month. Uh, you're out of the picture a little. Uh, I think at the $10,000 a month range, you're able to expand your business. Know that you're making your money because at $10,000 in just revenue, that's $120,000 a year. I think you're getting a little too big, you know what I mean? That you, you, you need to start expanding. But listen, it's not about expanding and making money. A lot of people expand and what happens to their business? Well, if they expand too quickly, then they, they, they don't make no money. Yeah. Their, their expenses are up here and your revenue is down here. Yeah. So you have a flip where it's the other way around. So and when we're talking about expanding, you're know, talking about adding more headcount, or you're talking about, hey, now I'm in a DFW, I want to expand down to Austin. So it depends how far you want to expand. So there's a lot of variables in between. You got to do what's kind of what's best for you and what's going to help keep you successfully without having to close your doors if you go too fast. Right, right, exactly, guys. You know, I really, uh, honestly, I hope this helps y'all out. Uh, we're, like I said, we're here in Corpus Christi, Texas. Yeah. Uh, we just wanted to stop and give y'all just a little advice on how to expand the business and why to do it and why not to do it, really. Right, and we're doing some sightseeing, so we want to share this great ship here, this great history. So we'll pan around here in a second as well, too, but we're at the USS Lexington here in Corpus Christi as well. And we're talking about an awesome ship, huge. We just got here, we haven't even started down below. I don't know how many floors it goes down, yeah, but yeah. Uh, 
unfortunately it is tight for big guys like us yes. in the heights so you <laughs> definitely have to be ducking you definitely have to make sure you watch your surroundings while you're walking around i think uh ricardo's already got a little bit on his little yeah. angles here so and, and again guys uh if you're from the corpus christi area and y'all want to get connected with us shoot us an email shoot us a yes. comment below we'll invite you over to our hotel you can come and talk to us yeah we we'll, be, we'll be here for a few days yeah. as well so right. if you're looking yeah we'll, up. yeah and i'll talk to y'all later guys don't forget to subscribe over there to the right side on the left side Check out my other videos. I will talk to y'all later. Hey, peace out. Have a good day.